recently announced that uh, Star Wars Episode Eight will be pushed back because they're doing some rewrites. They're apparently going in and minimizing a couple of characters so that they can give Rey and Finn and Poe uh, a little more screen time, uh, a little more of a presence, really flesh out their backstory a little bit more. Uh, I think this is great. Uh, just in the fact that I loved Rey and Finn and Poe in The Force Awakens, I'm very excited to see more of them. Uh, I'm excited to see Rey's journey as a Jedi. I'm very excited to see Rey and Finn uh, partnering up and just messing stuff up across the galaxy. I think they're going to be an awesome duo. Uh, that may be what happens in the next movie, it may not. That's just what I'm hoping for. Uh, however, the reason they're doing this is because there's been such a, a fan... Uh, adoration or love for these characters that they wanted to change the script a little bit, like I said, minimizing characters and bringing them forward even more into the story uh, so that uh, fans can get more of these characters. Rewrites happen all the time in movies. They happen before production, during production. Uh, rewrites are a common thing. However, my worry is that, my, my worry is the reason they're doing this is to appease fans. Uh, I have a very strong belief over a lot of different things as a, as a nerd, as a member of over a dozen different fandoms across the spectrum of geekness. Uh, I'm a big fan of a lot of things. I'm very uh, into a lot of the different fandoms. My worry is that I don't think that fans and fandoms should influence uh, canon. I don't think that fans should influence the story or... Uh, ideas for the story, I don't think that should happen. Uh, if there are a lot of great ideas out there from fans, and there's even a lot of great fan fiction, trust me, there's some good fan fiction out there, I've read it, but I feel that a lot of it should stay just as it is, fan fiction, because I'm not a fan of... I'm not a fan of a fan's idea of a story. I'm a fan of the official canon. I'm a fan of the official story. I'm a fan of Star Wars. I'm a fan of the story of Star Wars and what happens in Star Wars. The other stuff is great to read and very uh, intricate and interesting, but it's still, it's not canon, and I don't think that it should be. Changing the story that they were originally going to tell, it distorts the, I guess, original vision of the story. Uh, after The Force Awakens came out, J.J. Abrams read the script for uh, Episode Eight, and he said that it was so good that he wished he was directing it, that he regretted not uh, getting, getting on board to direct that film. Uh, but now they're changing it. And it could be a change that makes it even better than it could have been. But I just worry that it's not. I worry that they're just trying to appease fans, uh, which is a slippery slope, because you can't, you can't make everyone happy. And fandoms and geeks in fandoms are so divided on so many different issues uh, regarding the stories of their favorite movies and TV shows and books. They're so divided that if you change something in favor of one thing, you're going to maybe make that small group of fans uh, happy about it, but there's going to be a huge backlash on the other side against it. It's actually uh, a coincidence that I'm doing this video now because it was just a few days ago that Stephen Moffat announced that he's going to be stepping down as showrunner for Doctor Who after season 10. Uh, I bring up Stephen Moffat because my biggest issue and worry with Moffat as showrunner of Doctor Who is that he lets the fandoms influence his ideas and his vision of the show. Stephen Moffat, at heart, is just a fanboy. He's a geek like us, geeking out over Doctor Who. He loves it just as much as we do, and I worry that he will, you know, look at the fan boards and look at uh, different fan fiction and think, oh, that's a great idea, let me implement that into the story that I was going to tell. And it becomes less his vision or less the show's vision or the canon's vision, and it becomes more, I guess, fan fiction influenced. Uh, and I, I don't want that to happen. Uh, another example that I'm actually very upset, I'm actually kind of, not very upset, but kind of upset about, is with uh, the book series of Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin and the show Game of Thrones. Uh, the character of Asha in Game of Thrones uh, was such a great character. People loved her. George R. R. Martin loved her in the show. In the books, so far, she doesn't have the biggest role. Like, she had her role that she had the show, but so far, that's been it. Uh, he's going back and changing his story to fit more of Asha into the story 
so that she can have a bigger role in the upcoming seasons of Game of Thrones. I have a huge problem with this because that is essentially changing his original vision of the work and I wanted to see what his original vi vision is, what he's created, the original vision that he's come up with, that he's telling. This issue isn't cut and dry, there's no right and wrong answer and there's going to be a huge difference of opinions on this. This is just mine. I just, I don't feel that fans and fandoms should influence canon because then it ultimately becomes something that I'm not a fan of. It doesn't, it's not the thing that I came to love. It's not what I started with and not what I loved seeing and it's more of a, a number of other fans' vision of it. Uh, and their fan fiction. I don't, I don't want stories that are envisioned by these creators to become influenced by someone else. Um, you know, taking ideas and collaborating on things is one thing, but just taking ideas from the fandom that you think, well, this will make them happy, this is what they want to see, it distorts their own vision of the canon of the story and of the character, and I don't want to see that. I want to see their vision, what they've been wanting to show, not what they think other people will enjoy. It's it's not up to them to make us happy. It's up to them to tell the story that they set out to tell. It's up to us as fans to decide, are we a fan of that or are we not? What do you think of this idea of fandoms influencing canon? Let me know in the comments and share the video so others can join in on the conversation. So follow me on all the internets and subscribe to my channel so we can out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.